ladies and gentlemen, you know, there are some things on this planet that are going extinct and I don't mind at all. Then there's other things on the planet that are going extinct and I do care. Almost 600 plant species have become extinct in the last 250 years. And I say that's a shame. That is because mankind has been very careless with this earth and not treating the earth right. And we have seen this all throughout the years and we're seeing it today. The air is heavily polluted. They dump all kinds of garbage and trash into the ocean. You know, a lot of these dead sea carcasses, they're pulling out all kinds of plastic bottles and everything in their digestive system. You know, these folks have just, let's face it, let's call it what it is. They have effed up the world. And it shouldn't be this way. You know, these plants are not getting good oxygen on a regular basis. They're getting a lot of polluted air. So that being said, I'm not surprised they're going extinct. And it's really a shame because some of these plants have been around thousands and maybe even millions of years on this earth. And they're now fading away. And it shouldn't be like this at all. So once again... It just go to show you how inadequate many of the ones that have taken over this earth really are. They don't have any concern about anything and anyone other than themselves. So they're saying almost 600 plant species have been wiped out over a 250 year period. And more plants have gone extinct than birds, mammals, and amphibian. And this is according to a new study that was recently published, Nature, Ecology, and Evolution Journal. So they found 571 plant species have already disappeared worldwide. And they already know there's a plant extinction that is going on and it's five times faster the rate um, without human intervention. It can be 500 times faster. To be honest with you, ladies and gentlemen, I don't really know what they can do. A lot of times people on this globe put greed over everything else. So these things will continue to uh, occur. And, you know, they overhunt animals. And there were no animals going extinct until things have changed on this earth thousands of years ago. And now you got all these extinctions going on. So, ladies and gentlemen, you better take a good look at many of the plants that you see because they may be some of the species that are going. And it's really sad. This plant is something that's spoken about. Actually, is a tree. And this is the acacia tree. You know, the one that's mentioned in the Bible several times. That's what this is. And even they are put on an endangered list now. Our forefathers used to use the wood from those trees for many things, because it's supposed to be a very hard wood and very durable. So am I surprised? No, no, ladies and gentlemen. In order for things to recover on this earth, just like it says in our good book, the world has been placed in the hands of the wicked. Well, until it shifts back over to the righteous people of the earth, then this is the kind of stuff you can expect to happen. Seriously. You know, they're not going to be the ones to turn anything around on this planet. It's going to take real humans with real morals to take this planet and turn it back around and get everything in order once again. 
it has been so out of order for so long that people think out of order is normal. This is not normal. It is nothing on this planet. (laughs) Nothing on this planet at this point in time is normal. We just got used to being in chaos all the time. That's all. And it's a shame because we don't even know what normal feels like, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to go ahead and play the video. It's not just the howling lemurs of Madagascar that could disappear forever. Not just the cute kiwis in New Zealand. It could be all the wild tigers in India and all the lions in Africa. The bees and butterflies that pollinate. Billions of dollars worth of crops every year. And the fish stocks that feed billions of people every day. According to a sweeping new study, there are now one million species on the brink of extinction, many of them doomed to blink out in coming decades, everything from plants and corals to creatures great and small. And while it was asteroid strikes or super volcanoes that caused the dinosaurs to go extinct, today the biggest threat against nature is human nature. What my colleagues have shown is that we have reconfigured dramatically the fabric of life of the planet. To feed the appetites of over 7 billion humans, the study finds that three quarters of land on Earth has been plowed or paved, dammed or mined. This is all mining pits that are filled in. Plastic waste and pesticide runoff has created over 400 ocean dead zones, while heat trapping pollution fills the sky at record levels making Earth's climate more unpredictable by the year. There's many that like gross domestic product as an economic measure, but this is not a measure of the wealth of the world. So the authors are calling for a seismic shift in how humans consume and how economies work, starting now. I also ask, what is the urgency? The urgency, I wear cufflinks. These cufflinks of watches show me and remind me we have no time to waste. The time for action is now. It's not. Climate change is very important. But the number one driver for all this is land conversion, destruction of habitat, changes of that habitat. And second is, you know, overconsumption and overhunting. These are more immediate and urgent problems. And they could be more directly attacked than some of the other ones. What we would like at the end of this report is to really give uh, the world a real message of hope. We don't want that people feel discouraged, that uh, there is nothing that can be done, that we've lost the battle because we have not lost the battle. And if given a chance, nature will reconquer its rights and will prevail. But that would mean putting nature over profit motive for the first time in centuries, deciding that the Amazon is worth more than Amazon.com, and that life as we know it can only exist on a planet in balance. Bill Weir, CNN, New York. Please, if these folks had to put nature first, they would probably Hong drop Kong dead. Suspending the con- they would drop dead <laughs> from the thought of not making money. They're never going to put nature over money. We never seen it before and you will never see it. Not while the camp, not while the planet is in the shape that it's in. You're never going to see it. And you look at that panel, you can see why. You know, if these folks could make all these great decisions, we would have seen it by now. We haven't seen it and you're not going to see it. The plants, in my opinion, as long as this world is out of balance, they may be better off going than sticking around. Oh boy, I wish things were different. I really do. I really do. I long for things to be different because I think once really caring people get in charge, we're going to see this world look in ways we never seen before. But in the present state, we're not going to progress 
beyond what you're looking at right now. It's a fact. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.